fights. Roger Bloodworth was his longtime trainer. He split with him about a year ago, got with a new trainer. Will the new trainer, if he sees Adamek taking a beating, will he pull the plug on it for his own safety there? Because he's going to give up close to 100 pounds. And, he, and Adamek, look, Jarrell Miller thinks that Adamek's going to run. If Adamek runs, that's the first time I've seen Tomas Adamek. And, and, and obviously, I, I agree with you in terms of his corner being able to. Uh, Tomas Adamek is 227. Is that the highest he's ever been? Yeah, this is the uh, highest. 227 is the highest he ever been. You know, in a way, I'm kind of rooting for Tomas Adamek. I'm not going to lie. I was a, uh, before I started covering boxing on um, YouTube, was a big fan. You know, in fact, I did cover him um, versus Chris Areola and uh, Vitaly Klitschko on YouTube and Steve Cunningham on another channel. On another channel. No, I didn't cover the Chris Areola or Vitaly Klitschko on YouTube. I covered them. I didn't cover them. I just watched them. I did cover the Glasgow fight, though. And the Spielka. Anyway, I'm Tissue Controversy. This is Tissue Controversy Live tomorrow. Tomas Adamick is going to be taking on uh, Gerald Big Baby Miller, who you'll see here soon, weighing at 317 pounds, the highest of his career. To stop it because he won't. <laughs> you know, a lot of these fights got to be safe for themselves. See? He does. And, you know, it's, it's always, and I was asking some of his former promoters this uh, over the course of the last couple of days. Why is Adamek fighting? He doesn't need money. He's got plenty of money. He's got rental properties in Jersey. He's fine. His wife is a nurse, so they do fine. He's her 317. 317, Jerome Miller. Miller. But their response to me and Adamek? He loves to fight. That's it. What Just love to fight. What the Polish community, Chris, they, they're so supportive, even if their fighter's not the A-side, so to speak. Maybe 317 is crazy, and that's very true. Um, this fight is actually, in my opinion, likely going to be a big um, uh, portion of the ticket sales because of uh, the Polish and uh, Chicago. And Polish boxing fans are very, very supportive. You know, if their fighters win or lose, or the fact that uh, Tumaz Adam, Tumaz Adamik is, what, 41 years old. Like I said, at this point in time, in, um, with modern medicine and technology, I don't consider 41 to be old. You know, I think like you're at like the full twilight of your career. You know, and that's like that in a lot of sports these days. You know, this is not the motherfucking 60s and 70s. Let's see what the face-off going to be like. It's about a 100 pounds difference, though. Yeah. It's interesting. He told me his wife tried to talk. Ninety him out pound of fighting. difference. His daughter tried to talk him out of fighting. He's adamant. He just won't seen, do it. Adamant seems to be the only one that wants <laughs> this fight. And look at that size difference. Oh, look it's, at it's, the it's, size it's difference. Like hiding behind Big Baby, I can't guys. even see Adamant right now. Big Baby looks like an hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy, oh, man, you, big guy. You know, speak, you know, Chris, speaking of uh, his wife not not wanting him in the fight, we talked to Tony Bellew yesterday, and he claims that, you know. Yeah, man, I hope that, uh, you know, it's going to be. Uh... See, here's the thing. Um, big Baby Miller is not necessarily a brutal um, knockout puncher, as you I mean, his resume, you know, looking at it. Let's go look at it real quick. Go top screen. Uh, 21 0 and 1 with 18 KOs. Now, when he beat um uh, uh Wash uh Walk, he just you know I forgot what happened with that fight. I covered that fight. Wasn't it something with his hand or his wrist or some shit like that? You know, Gerald Washington. That was more so you know a sustained beating. You know, so he's not really like he hasn't really been known as like that really really you know one punch knock you out like type guy. But you know he does have a a a, a pretty like a, a nice work rate for his size and conditioning as well. One thing, however, that's been rubbing me the wrong way is that he wants to jump the line. I mean, you can't be mad at him, right? You know, he wants to jump the line in regards to a title shot, but you can't be mad at him. Right now, here's the heavyweight pitcher. Obviously, Deontay Wilder's taking on uh, Tyson Fury December the 1st on BT Sport and Showtime Pay-Per-View. Anthony Joshua has the other three belts. They want to open up negotiations to fight Deontay Wilder in uh, April. But, you know, whatever. We don't want to talk about that. You got Manuel Char, who's likely very soon going to be stripped of that WBA world title. And truth be told, Trevor Bryan should be elevated and Trevor Bryan should fight Fresno Quindo. Fresno Quindo's been owed that title shot for four years now. My God. Dominic Brazil's the WBC interim champion. My thing is this. One.
one minute. Here, listen to this. I tried to talk him out of fighting. His daughter tried to talk him out of fighting. He's adamant. He just won't he seemed, do it. Adamant seems to be the only one that wants <laughs> this fight. And look at that size difference. Oh, look a, at the it's size a, it's difference. Like hiding behind Big Baby. I can't guys. even see Adamant right now. Big Baby looks like an hourglass. <laughs> <laughs> Big guy, oh, man, big guy. You know, speak, you know, Chris, speaking of uh, his wife not not wanting him in the fight, we talked to Tony Bellew yesterday, and he claims that, you know, his wife, uh, you know, kind of made him. He said, this is it. After this USEC fight, you are done. He himself I'm sorry, said I had to answer that. Actually hopes that USEC My bad. I had to answer that. So it's like this, right? I feel that Big Baby Miller, in my personal opinion, I feel that Depending on what Dylan White's going to do, I think he should fight Dylan White or Derek Chisora next, right? You know, or fight. Hold on, let me stop this. Or fight. Hmm. Trevor Bryan, Fresno Quindo winner. Or one of them. You know, and like if, if he really wants to try to, you know, but. That's that's the route he's got to take because, you know, he didn't want to fight Kubert Pulev. Kubert Pulev had taken on Huey Fury October the 27th. We're going to be covering that fight. Dylan White seems to want um, Luis Ortiz. I haven't done enough research on that yet. The people have been saying that uh, Dylan White's got some text messages. He said he got some text messages from Deontay Wilder saying some shit. And then maybe there's some talks with him and Luis Ortiz. I don't know. Um, in regards to Brian Jennings, he's now ranked number three by the WBO. But like I said, for you know, it's going to be interesting to see what Gerald Big Baby Miller does if he wins tomorrow. Like, I really think he should go after, you know, that WBA world title. Or maybe fight Dominic Brazil or Dylan White. You know, but he's got to start stepping up now. I understand the marketing and the math behind this fight with um, um, Tumaz Adamic. And technically, I'm a Tumaz Adamic supporter. So, you know, I'm cool with the fight. But I can understand how people are like, yeah, why is he fighting this 41 year old man? You see what I'm saying? Anyway, I'm Teacher Controversy. This is Teacher Controversy Live. Please subscribe. We got, I got about three more weigh ins to cover. Then I'm taking my ass to bed. We got a big day tomorrow. Please subscribe.